Okay, so it is 6.40 right now. I am running late for my first class. I also had a headache this morning. Um, and now I'm sitting at a stoplight and I'm stressing out. I'm really excited. Um, I don't know what to expect. I've heard that it's really, really intense. So I really only made myself just like a little peanut butter on a slice of bread with some maple syrup. Um, I also packed some amino acids for while I'm working out because I'm not sure what to expect. And then a little bit of protein for right afterwards. So um, I'll go ahead and update you guys when I get back and let you know how the class goes. I just got done with my workout. It was only an hour long. And it was so, so tough. It was probably, there was me and two other girls and um it was probably like the the most humbling experience i have ever gone through those girls were so much stronger than me and i am so used to being strong i went into this thinking that um i would be hanging in there and i didn't at all and so i want to come out of this 10 times better than the way that I came into it. Just really solidifies that there is always someone out there that is training harder than you and more dedicated. It puts a lot more drive into me. I'm gonna go again tomorrow morning and I wanna put my game, my game face on. I wanna see progress in myself. I think that's just my nature. I've always been competitive. So that's okay. Being competitive is okay. Say hi, Sue Bear. Say hi to YouTube. God, she's so cute. I have the cutest dog ever. I just dropped Tyler off and I am going to go take Sydney on a walk, make myself something to eat and drink my protein. And I decided that, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of abs for you guys today and videotape that. So don't mind my kitchen right now, it is a total sty because Tyler and I just got back last night kind of late from um, the bachelorette and bachelor party. Um, but I thought I would show you guys my meal. Because of this workout, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have an egg sandwich because I love egg sandwiches. Um, so uh, first off, I thought I would show you that I am using farm fresh eggs. My mom has chickens and her chickens are actually laying right now so she's been giving us some eggs and I wanted to show you um, two differences how you can know if an egg is really farm fresh or not so here is the main difference is when you crack an egg the yolk is gonna be almost an orangey color and it's gonna barely run my favorite eggs are the blue ones um, rumor has it blue eggs so these are Araucana hens they lay low cholesterol eggs so as you can see, the yolk is like pretty orange compared to most eggs. Usually eggs are kind of bright yellow and see how little that spread. Other thing on my egg sandwich I'm gonna do, um, I have some black forest ham that we have left over from our trip. Um, this is two ounces, I weighed it out. And then I'm gonna do two slices of bread and a little bit of low fat, low moisture cheese. Throw some pico on there too. Because this is a little bit lower in fat, I thought I would treat myself because I do need it. I had a crazy intense workout and have some light mayonnaise. Mayonnaise makes everything better. Let's be real. All you guys out there that hate mayonnaise, I don't understand you. Okay, so here's my meal. I've got 30 grams of protein in this, 46 carbs, and nine grams of fat. Pretty good. And it looks delicious. Like, oh, look at that. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> so I just took a, about an hour and a half long nap um, because my head was just really hurting. And it was getting to the point where it was making me nauseous, so I did that. And I woke up, and it's better, but I've still got quite a headache. And I'm still going to kill some abs, and I'm still going to videotape that. I'm going to power through this, but um, I'm thinking on my agenda today, I'm going to go ahead and just get an upper body massage from my sister. And I'll have her explain why that might be good for my headache. Hey, so I'm at my sister's right now, um, and she advised me to use some essential oils um, to get rid of my headache before we start the massage. 
So I'm gonna try it. I'm about I'm gonna put three drops in here. There we go. Is this weird that I already feel better? I've never done this before and I thought it was kind of a hoax. Holy crap. I feel good. Guys, I took two ibuprofen, one Excedrin migraine, drank a shit ton of water, I even tried caffeine, and I'm just like, I'm baffled right now. I just got done with my massage for my sister, and I was gonna have you just say like why it's good to, like how you can help um, headaches with massage. So massage leaves, relieves a lot of tension in your neck and your traps, which all leads up back from your shoulders all the way up to your neck. And everything can start even from your lower back and work all the way up. So if you get a headache, sometimes it can be tension, sometimes it can be dehydration. Brooke was wearing a headband, which there's tons of muscles on your head. And headbands, when they're tight around your head, obviously causes tension. Um, and there's a million other reasons for headaches but yeah <laughs> that was one of them and since I have been lifting a lot recently that was most likely the cause of my headache I am feeling a hundred percent better on my way to the gym and we are gonna do some abs so hope y'all are excited I cannot believe the difference that that made with my headache He's using what? Uh, what aminos are you using? Uh, alpha, alpha aminos. Okay. C for, uh, well, Cellucor. Okay, so he's using Cellucor, um, alpha aminos. So I'll be using that. No more GNC hole. And I hope you guys like the video. Hey, remember to like, subscribe, or comment. I love hearing from you guys. I love when people subscribe. So do so. My cousin made this for me and it says teeny on it. <laughs> okay, so I am just so proud of this burger I made and the fries. <clears throat> I've got my sugar snap peas over here, um, some mushrooms and pickles, and then um, I did an English muffin as the base. Um, I've got a few little things of uh, arugula here, some um, salsa, some non-fat or low-fat cheese, mozzarella, and then a chicken burger um, patty. So really excited to eat this. And then this ranch is actually Opa yogurt ranch, so it's got a little bit better macros than actually a lot better macros than regular ranch. So super excited about this meal. Yum. <laughs>